I hate to smoke. I hate to smoke. Yay! Look what came in. I got the new coil. Now it looks to be identical. Now I just gotta steal that bracket. This apparently didn't come with it. Cheap asses. So I just gotta take that bracket. I also have the, pl the uh, spark plug wire. Guess what? It's just a normal fucking spark plug wire. This end here, uh, <clears throat> if you don't remember, it had a little um, flat type piece. It was made into like a arrowhead wedge. Well, it doesn't need that. It, it takes a normal uh, kind of one that goes into your own automotive car. So I could have just got that at Napa. It showed up, kind of slap in the face. I didn't pay much for it though. I think it was four dollars. So it wasn't like I got raped, but. I could have just went and got it down the road. But anyways, they both showed up at the same time, so fuck it. You know, couldn't couldn't get ahead of the other. Wouldn't work without it. Here's what I was talking about. Uh, see the end. Spark plug goes in. Boink. That one. Sorry. It's like an erect dick just shoots right out because it's so new. So stiff. And then this one just inserts. Uh, just like that right into it. Here's a free tip. A little vital tip, too. There is a positive and negative. See, that's a little negative slash. And over here is a positive. See it right there. Positive, negative. I couldn't see it. <laughs> now I do. See, positive, negative. Well, this here is a factory coil, and I think they use a little cheat. That yellow dot, in case the guy can't see, has shitty vision. All he has to do is pick that up, and then he knows which way to smack it into that uh, housing because I have it the same way it was before. It, this one's double marked, so there's negative, negative, positive, positive. So that's just one little thing you gotta know because that's what's going to uh, help, help it. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't do it right, you gotta fuck it up. No promises here, guys, but it's on. So let's uh, give it a try. I'm gonna take the spark plug out. Did you even spark again? Come on, bitch. Not even a sputter. Okay, well, let's uh, pop that spark plug in and see if we even got spark. Barking dog, test one. I don't even see it. I didn't see a fucking spark. Does that mean we got wiring issues? This wire goes up, down. I don't even know where the fuck it ends up. Back in here somewhere. That's to the negative, that's to the blue. Which one's the blue wire? That's a black wire with sheathing. Oops. You guys are off in the distance again. I don't know what the fuck wire color this is. I think that's black, just was. Feels like it's got an extra coating on it though. Just to me, it looks too thick to be by itself. And, hmm. After further testing and analyzing with my technological background here, I've come to the fucking realization that we have a bad part again, but what part is it, right? Remember, we're tracing, trying to figure out that, that. There's some more shit that's under here. There's like a fucking, there's a pedal switch. There's another indicator switch. There's a control switch. All that. What's stopping it from getting fucking power to this, to make spark to that, to make fucking motor run, to give energy to this, to make this wheels do fucking burnouts? <sighs> fucking thing flew in my mouth. I don't even know what it was. I don't care. Anyways. That is bad. At least that's what I've come to the conclusion of. This little solenoid looking thing. Do we got another one? What's it gonna take to get one? How much is it? Not to worry. I already planned ahead. That's right, I ordered this. Thinking that was bad to begin with. When the guy said he fucking blew shit up and was touching wires. I made sure I got one because this here is cheap as fuck. It's like five bucks. That coil and that wire, this wire was like, what, uh, almost $2? Spark plug was new. We didn't need that. This coil here, I think it was like 30 something dollars. Uh, you know, I didn't really want to spend that, but hey, thought that was bad because we weren't getting spark out of it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna stop talking. As you can see with your own fucking eyes, I have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Let's see if we can get this son of a bitch to turn over. Uh, that doesn't sound any different to me. Alright, let me pull the spark plug out and see if we did anything. One day that dog has to die. It just has to. That was great too. Anyways, I got it all changed out. Check the spark. Guess what? No spark still. So that is not... That is not our problem. Damn it. I don't know what the fuck to look for on this piece of shit. There's not much. There's just two switches here. Ignition's good. Uh, see, there's a switch right there. Hmm. But that's... That's what turns it on. When you do this, that allows the motor to start turning to catch up and uh, basically turn on with the gas pedal. You don't use the switch to turn it on. It's the gas pedal. That's why I fucked up to begin with. But... It's just one little switch with a couple wires. And then everything gets run through that box. <sighs> Could it be inside the motor? I see there's a couple screws to take that plate off here. One there, one there, one there. Guess we could take a look in there and see. Maybe the wire's broke or something's not touching. All right, all right, all right. I got that fucker off and in there looks like some kind of point system. Old bullshit that's what that is. That's uh, old fucking shit. So let's go ahead and, and watch and see what it does. See how it works. Oh, it like a kind of goes around and around. I didn't see it fucking tapping on that, did you? Let's watch it again. It's not really, it's not really flipping it up too much, is it? Is it? How far does that have to go? To me, it just seems like it have to be like pop, 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 pop. It just looked like it was just barely. I don't know. Oops, my gay hand. Uh, let me take a closer look without the camera in my face. Uh, we're back in the shop because I have to test this weird looking capacitor thing. It's the only thing I can find on there that looks like it requires some kind of power or makes power or helps with power. I don't fucking know, but uh, the, the other thing was just like a little tappy tapper. And I did adjust it down a little bit, or I should say, yeah, I did. It, it adjusted it down so that it touched more on the lobe and it lifted up. Now you can actually see it doing the tap, but... This has no numbers, nothing. I'm sure it's not a hard part to find. Just type in Harley Davidson three wheeler motherfucker and it's gonna come up with Harley Davidson three wheeler motherfucking parts and you just choose from it. But this doesn't look that old to be honest. I almost feel like he might have put that on there. Uh fuck it around. It really doesn't seem that old. But I could be wrong. I mean parts in there don't really get too dirty. But I'm gonna see if there's a way for me to test the ohms on that and see what 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 was wrong with it? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I'll, maybe I'll Google that shit. Welcome back here. So I uh, checked out everything that was in the point system, and everything checks out. Okay, it's fine. It actually wasn't bad, so I didn't have to order the piece. Okay, I had a friend that knew how to do it. Kind of talked me through it over the phone. Put it all back in. I think I have it gapped properly. It's 28 degrees, what it says, or something like that. Uh, it's good. So, tried everything again, and no spark. So you see this red wire? You're like, what the fuck's that about? Well, I got that going to the plus side on the coil, and I got it going all the way back here to this little solenoid, son of a bitch. So that when I turn it on, it sends power to that. And what I mean by turn it on is what I mean when I turn it over, it's only going to send power to that. But now that's good because I'll show you here. I get spark. Let's see if we can move <laughs> super camera skills of mine. Let's see. Uh, eh, that should work. Something like that. Are you ready? Watch closely. Here we go. Uh, you see some spark. <laughs> My fucking camera skills. There we go. Does that make 
plugging too much spark though. I don't think it'd make a better sparky spark than that. I fucking camera skills here. So, oh man, I'm just terrible today. All right, so everything was frozen this morning. That's why I'm having a hell of a time because it is cold. Now, you might hear a lot of saw blades running in shit in this part of the video because they're expanding the bestiality uh, business over there. Appears to be taking off. Let me see if I can somehow balance you here. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, right there. Here we go. Was it sparking? It should be sparking. I burned it up. God damn it. Why isn't it working? The issue I'm running into now nothing all these components aren't touching this is supposed to be touching this and it's supposed to be touching the top of this point deal but nothing's supposed to touch the the block area um there's a little piece of plastic that separates it but anyways i'm thinking i just hooking all these to one so i'm going to splice this wire off again i put all new because i didn't i didn't know what, something's not helping it so what i'm going to do is Splice them all into one wire, and uh, that'll cut down all the multiple contact areas. Hopefully that there solves the issue. 